In this video, we're going to talk about how Alpha Anywhere now bundles in the uh, Font Awesome icon font library and integrates it tightly into the UX Builder, Grid Builder, and Tabbed UI Builder. So if you point your browser at the Font Awesome site, you can see here are a list of all of the icons in the uh, Font Awesome library. And the reason that icon fonts are so attractive is because they are actually fonts, that means that they can scale to a large size without any jagged edges, unlike a bitmap. So in a mobile application where you've got to deal with retina screens and non-retina screens, the ability to scale your icons very smoothly to up and down is extremely attractive. So let's go now and take a look at how Alpha integrates the Find Awesome library. So I'm going to go back now to Alpha Anywhere. And first what I'd like to point out is that if in my project right now I don't have any existing components and you can see that there's no CSS file right now. But if we were to go to the folder where Alpha Anywhere is installed, which in my case is A5v12, you can see that I have a folder here called CSS Icons and so when you install the uh, Alpha Anywhere program this folder Font Awesome is now going to be installed in your CSS icons folder as a subdirectory of your executable folder. You can see in my case here, I've also gone to the web and found another icon library and installed that as well. So I actually have two font libraries installed. So let's go now and create a new UX component. So we'll go over here and we'll go to properties and we'll choose the new iOS 7 style. Then I'll go over to controls and let's go now and define a button and we'll set this button to image above text and now we can go over to the image name but before we do that let's go back to properties here and scroll down to CSS font icons and uh, we'll go now and we'll tell this UX component that it should load the uh, Font Awesome library. Now I also see Fontella here because as I mentioned earlier I've also gone and installed another icon library in my CSS icons folder but out of the box you're going to just see Font Awesome listed over there. So now this is going to tell us now that Font Awesome is now available for this UX component. So we'll go back now to our builder and we'll go there and choose our image name and you'll see now that the image selector allows you to select built-in images for example as it always has but now there's a new option here called CSS icons and I can specify where the CSS icon comes from so since I'm using the iOS 7 style which has a whole bunch of icons that use CSS icons I have style which is the uh, style sheet that I'm using I've got font awesome and then I've got my other library called Fontella here so I'm going to go ahead here and choose font awesome and then I'm going to bring up the icon selector and uh, you'll see now that all of the icons in the font awesome library are listed over here I can basically, as I move over each icon, you can see that I get little bubble help that tells me the name of the icon. I can display the icons in different sizes, so that's two times, three times, four times, five times, or I can even go here and say custom and then pick on the slider here and choose the size that I'd like to display the icon in. Then I can go to a color selector here and choose, say, the colors that I want. I can turn a border on around each icon. I can make the icon spin if I want, although that's obviously not something you'd want to do too often. And then I can go, since this is just a font, I can define any class or any style to apply to the CSS that displays this icon. So let's go here and just choose, say, the icon in three times its uh, normal size. And I'll go ahead now and choose, say, that icon over there. Go ahead and click OK. And you can see now that the image name is now prefixed with CSS icon. And then you can see there's the definition of the icon. So these are all the actual CSS classes in the Font Awesome CSS file. So we're continuing now with the discussion of the uh, Font Awesome font library that is now bundled with Alpha Anywhere and uh, we're discussing the uh, CSS class names that appear here. So these are all different class names in the Font Awesome CSS file. So this is telling us that the first thing is FA, which is a prefix that is used for all Font Awesome um, icons. Then FA-Signal is the actual name of the icon that we selected. Then 
by selecting this class name FA-border, we've turned the border on, then you can see FA-3x, this is how we made the icon three times its normal size, and then this is the inline style that we apply to the icon, so this is the color that we've selected, so this is what this icon looks like now, so let's go ahead now and then click OK, and then go over into working preview and you can see now we have a button that is using the font awesome icon so the font awesome icon library or um, actually CSS icons in general are now integrated throughout the UX component the grid component and the tabbed UI component and in all places where you select an image name you can basically in the builder here you can either select built-in images which would be bitmaps or you can choose CSS icons and the CSS icons basically all shown here with the prefix of CSS icon and then behind the scenes Alpha Anywhere is converting this syntax here into the appropriate HTML markup to display the icon. So the ability to use CSS icons in your UX components is a really nice attractive feature especially for people who are building uh, mobile applications where smooth scaling of your icons is desirable. As an addendum to the video on using uh, Find Awesome, I'd just like to point out that uh, when you are in the uh, UX Builder, Grid Builder or Tabbed UI Builder and you go to the uh, Properties uh, section here and you turn on Font Awesome in the CSS Fonts section as I've done over here, then as soon as you do this what Alpha Anywhere does behind the scenes is actually go to your web project over here and actually copy the CSS in to your web project folder. So in my CSS folder now I have a subfolder here called CSS Icons and there's my Font Awesome folder and this is the Font Awesome library that was copied from the CSS Icons folder in the executable folder so every time you indicate that one of your components uses a CSS library the appropriate library is automatically copied into your project so that when you publish your project the CSS Icons will automatically be published as well so if I were to go now back to my component over here and also turn on for example the Fontella font you can see now that uh, when I go now back to my CSS folder over here I see that the Fontella font has been copied in as well. Now font icons are loaded into memory automatically when you're running in live preview by the CSS file so the CSS file has a rule in it that loads the font into memory but when you're working in working preview mode you can't dynamically load fonts into memory so what you actually have to do is install the font itself so you can see now if I go now over to the uh, say font awesome folder here and double click actually let's go into window double click on font awesome here and then go into the fonts folder I'll see that there's actually a physical file here called font awesome webfont.ttf so that's a true type font so if I just simply double click on the file like this this opens up the Windows font installer and then I can go ahead here and click on the install button and that'll actually install the font now once the font has been installed then of course it's now available for use in working preview so when I go now into working preview I can see that the font will be rendered so if I go now back to say this button over there change it to say image only and then now go and choose an image from the font awesome library let's go ahead there and choose an image we'll just choose say five times the normal size and we'll choose the gear go ahead now go back to my working preview and so there's my image over there and you can see it's displaying correctly in working preview and that's because I've gone ahead and registered the font so remember that every time you install a font icon library that you might have downloaded be sure to register the TTF file so that you can use the font in working preview thanks very much